Oh, um, I'm not wearing a t-shirt or anything. I just want to talk about the bumps those real quick. The trailer came out yesterday, and to be quite honest, fuck anyone that hates this trailer. This trailer was actually, you know, giddy to my heart. Um, I grew up with the Munsters and the Addis family, but I love the Munsters more. And the fact that the trailer emphasized how cheesy this show used to be. I, when I was watching the trailer, I just was like, exactly, this is exactly what I, what I think when I think of the Munsters, you know? And people were saying, the trailer sucks. Now, is it everybody? No, but I point one person out, John Campia. I didn't look at the fucking goddamn fucking video. I don't give a fuck. I just saw the fucking goddamn tagline and I was just like, see, I love when people like John Campia can expose themselves because their stupidity, literally, their stupidity exposes themselves. So, there, there you go. It's like the time when he was like, well, the reason that movie didn't make money is because, well, you didn't watch it. And then it's like, I watched it. Well, um, it wasn't promoted enough. And it's like, you just keep getting excuses, man. All because you want people to fucking suck your fucking cock for, like, other higher stuff to, for other movie shit. And it's disgusting. I hate when YouTubers, especially people like John Campia, try to do that shit. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking disgusting, in my opinion. But moving on. This trailer, I thought it was fine. To me, it said everything what you wanted to see from the Mumpsters. Now, I thought... You know, um, I think it was their niece, the blonde girl, and then um, the boy. I thought they were going to be in the movie. But no, it's a prequel of how um, they became a family, basically, of how um, of how they met, basically. And that sounds pretty fine, to be quite honest. Um, I th did we even get, like, a prequel from the Munsters? I, I, I don't think we did. So Rob Zombie doing this, I mean... The style of what Rob Zombie does fits perfectly with the Mumsters. I mean, I've said this before and I said it again. Like, even when I was a kid, when he wore that zombie look and he had that fucking top hat and shit like that, that got me off the vibes of literally the Mumsters when I was a kid. I was like, he looks like something you see in the Mumsters, you know? So, who knows? Maybe a lot of Rob Zombie stuff um, was inspired by the Mumsters. He just made it more the way he wanted to, you know? But um, I am looking forward to this movie. I am set, It's coming out September 23rd, I believe. But it's coming out in September. Um, perfect time for the Halloween holidays, to be quite honest. So um, I can't wait. And it looks great, to be quite honest. I, it looks cheesy as fuck, but fun. And that's what the Mumpsters wore, to be quite honest. For crying out loud, they're not... They're not going to win any Academy Awards just because of one fucking good episode or, or a movie that they made, which I have seen the Mumpsters movie as a kid when the, eventually the boy turns into like a werewolf and shit like that. Yo, I remember that as a kid. If you don't, if you haven't, if you don't remember that as a kid, well then, you know what? You are too young. You are way too young. Way too young to know this then. <laughs> Most people be like, damn, you remember that? Yes, I remember that like I was a little kid. So, um, and then when he was like a fan, I mean, um, a werewolf, everyone was like running, running and like, ah, you know, and then I think the dad was trying to get him and shit like that. But I haven't watched that movie since a long time, but that was like the major part that stuck into my head. Like the little kid turning to a werewolf, like, of course that was sticking to your head. You know, it's almost like judge. It's almost like judge doom. It's like when you find out judge doom is a tune, spoiler, <laughs> you know, you were like, and then the eyes, the red fucking eyes. Remember me, Eddie? It's like, ah! <laughs> oh, shit. So, anyways, that's it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about the Mumsters trailer. Hey, if you hate it, that's fine. But when I point out stuff with John Campion and stuff like that, that's how I know people like that are hypocrites. They are. They're just fucking hypocrites. They really are. So, um, I enjoyed it. I liked it. It put a smile on my face. It, it reminded me when I was a little kid again, you know? Um... And it just makes me want to watch it even more, you know? So, and someone's probably, some, maybe someone out there is going to probably be like, well, they were, were not supposed to be cheesy. I'm like, it doesn't, who, who, who said it wasn't supposed to be cheesy? When you look at the trailer, to me, in my opinion, whatever the trailer shows is what literally the director was going to put, either agenda-wise or not. Ghostbusters 2016, anyone? Remember that trailer? 
So I'll see you guys later. Be safe.